I just made a video and this popped out like it's just abysmal what's happening to this game Nikita you are fucking retarded what the hell are you doing we literally went uproar because you fucked over Edge of Darkness Edition uh, with pledges, with DLC bullshit. That was the point of the whole goddamn charade. Now, you're pretty much doing the same fucking thing with Edge of Darkness. You're literally putting the fucking pay-to-win mechanics for the guys who, in who went uproar about the DLC crap. None of us normal thinking smart individuals are okay with fucking pay to win practices we don't want that in extraction shooter your game was fine your fucking systems were fine not perfect cheaters yes netcode shit sound shit fucking bots are retarded player base is cancerous there's no such incentive to be allies with anybody without high risk there's no fucking alliances nothing it, but you could have done that there's so much to focus in the game to make it good access to pv is gonna come in waves why do you have to integrate fucking online features into that why you have to keep control on everything because that is literally control you don't need servers for pve let that shit run on the fucking system Systems are now capable of running their own fucking instances. Why not give us that? You know why? Because most likely the motherfucker wants to control what you're putting in the game. That means he wants control over your modding. He doesn't want to see what you're modding and what you're doing. Man, you have cheaters to worry about. The game is plagued with motherfuckers who just are okay in seeing everything on the map. Man, this is reveling me up. Faster in shooters returns. Why is that not for everybody? Why is that not for everybody? Why can't I as a player invest in my fucking trader so his insurance returns are faster? By using in-game currency. Why is that for? Just buying guns and gear? Why not have actual services in-game that can expense your money further? Increase personal trader purchase limit by 20%. Do! And that's because I have an EOD edition? I told you. We, EOD owners, paid because we believed in your game. We didn't care about those fucking features. We paid because we believed in the game. We don't want pay to win fucking practices. Increase standing karma. No need for that. Equal everybody. Make them put effort, the one, the, uh, put effort as much as they want to m in this game so that they can achieve something like that or reduce the fucking skilling level where they don't need to fucking grind for 10 years or 10 weeks uh, straight to get to certain fucking levels access special crafts because i paid money fucking genius genius increased karma i mean skill charisma skill genius nostalgia quest line only to those who paid above 100 euros. Genius now. Genius. Unique armbands. Nobody gives a shit about armbands. Unique PMC dog tags. Nobody gives a shit about dog tags. It's a, such a trivia item. Unique item. Call-in mechanics. Legacy device. Some BTR thing. Okay, but should be allowed for everybody. Not just the payers. Unique... Uh, okay. Uni okay. Unique PMC upper lower clothing. PMC dog tags. Armbands. I'll be honest. Now, this is where you could have monetized. This is where you could have done something that would not inhibit absolutely nobody, but would make happy those who want to shill out for that. And you would still get some money. Not much. Not 250 But some revenue. Some revenue would keep flowing into the game. It wouldn't be too much, because it's just... It's just literally cosmetics. Nobody would really be suffering unless you put OP shit like translucent uh, t shorts and uh, wife beater that can be blended into a bush yeah if you do that then you're you come fucking it with us but if you add the things like people would just get and okay I, 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 I look special I'm a clown I have a red t-shirt everybody can see me in the game but that, that will create its own dynamic but never mind no I'm a fucking idiot consumer that will buy your shitty 250 euro how to say games? Fuck, fuck me. Ability to change Nikon nickname, icon, and color. 
again. That's something where you can actually uh, think about. If you want to change the color of your nickname, pay. But if you want to change your nickname, uh, that shouldn't. Sh that's that's a sketchy part because. Uh, there is a streamer hunting and, you know, all that crap, so I don't recommend touching that at all. The colors, yeah, but name changing should be allowed, because even cheaters are utilizing that. Some people need uh, to stay somewhat incognito during raids. Otherwise, yeah. After all, your game is only popular because of streamers that you bred to be either shills, or disappointed in the product people. Okay, so standard edition is getting. Increased stash. Stash by size, two lines. <sighs> Your stash bullshit always was sketchy from the beginning. You should have never had this in the first place back in the day as well. I thought back in 2016 that that shit... Is gonna be easily solved by simply doing the upgrades of your hideout, which you didn't implement somewhat, but you never did it properly. You always fucked over the guy who didn't want to pay the whole price for your Edge of Darkness edition. Ability to purchase access to PV mode separately should be in the game. That's not supposed to be purchasable. That should be in the game. You 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 shouldn't have a fucking only online option. It's 2024. It's about to put con. It's about time to put content and not retarded arenas, which you could have put in the game as a map, and players could participate it while still just playing Escape from Tarkov. It could be like a gambling thingy for players who want money, or quick wasting gear events. It's just so much potential you wasted. Oh boy, here comes the unheard. Unique radio electronic item will be active only in PvE mode. Oh, okay. Something new. Unique distress signal device will available for PvP and PvE. So this is the thing, which I'm really, really uh, up in arms. This shit right here is gonna cause so much issues. Good luck for anybody who's gonna f suffer from it. I'm not gonna divulge into details. Should be for all players, by the way. You should be able to pay in-game money for distress signals. It would cost you, but you call would be able to call in. The shit should be at least in rubles, dollars, or euros in-game cash. This should not be for real money. This should not be. This is supposed to be a game feature, not a game paid feature. A coupon for the game? Oh boy! You're such a generous god! $50 coupon! Stuck it up your ass. Access to uh, Escape from Tarkov Arena. <laughs> it's shit. There is a reason people don't like it. Unique PMC upper clothing, cultist jacket, unique dog tags. Yeah, like I said before, should be just skins and should not impact the game. For owners, additions other than unheard. Ability obtain items marked of the unheard, distressed through the game quest. Uh, ability to obtain expanded PMC pockets. Yeah, so. That shit shouldn't. It's good, it's there. But. Once again, you're. You're putting behind the so called incentive that players must spend hundreds of hours grinding something that will technically <sighs> set them back as soon as the wipe hits so it's just like the copper container everybody you know goes crazy about realistically speaking average player of your game doesn't have that much time you might say skill issue get good yeah, but this is not a Souls game. In Souls games, you can get good. Here, there's too many factors. And uh, your little cult of Tarkov players is dwindling because of these decisions you're making. Ability to the legacy device through in-game quests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ping limit for PvE mod will be removed. We. 
I mean, it should be literally ho co locally hosted. You shouldn't even worry about that. It should be player chosen anyway. And they're going to inform us about more shit and have a great day. No, you just made my day more frustrated because of this. So I'll finish this shit with this commentary and uh, wish everybody legit good day without incentive. Give me your money. Over and out.